We're approaching the trade deadline, GA. How do teams decide if they're a buyer? It comes down to goals and really your timeline. So some teams make deals to try to push them over the top this season. Others might find the player they love and trade for him with the future in mind. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Uh, Gilgis Alexander just taking the initiative, driving to the cup with purpose. And Young kicks to Wiggins. In the corner, it's Clarkson. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Bamba. Here's Okongwu. And Okongwu slams it in. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Here's Young following the score by Oklahoma City. With the drive, chalk up two there. Oh, crafty move there by Young, finessing his way around the contact. LeBron against Wiggins. And LeBron throws it down hard. LeBron James, ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Well, it was the Hawks winning their last game against Los Angeles. James. And Bamba pulls it down. Atlanta's gone 0-2 from deep here. Clarkson passes to Bamba. Back to Clarkson. And the pass to Young. Clarkson kicks to Wiggins. Connects from three-point range. Now, sometimes Wiggins better off when he doesn't have to put the ball on the deck. James outside, driving inside, and James throws it down. Oh, at six foot eight, it's easy to forget how good his handles are, but LeBron creates easy opportunities for himself. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Thunder have gone four of five from the field so far. LeBron dishes to McAdoo, hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Now you see LeBron James' selflessness on display. He loves to make his teammates feel good. Steps back. Young up top. He'll just Alexander cover. And that one's good. Wigan. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. It's all about mindset out of the gate. If you're aggressive and they give you room, go ahead. Let it fly. He had a nice yeah, open look right there. Okay. Gilgis Alexander's got six. But Shea Gilgis Alexander is a thirsty scorer, and if you can see the mid-range, he'll take it. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. The offensive rebound. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. That is a combination of length and defensive instincts. Send it back, Mo Bamba. The shot by Okongwu, no good. Marley passes to James. Back to Marley. Let's it go. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Young pass to Bamba. The basket good. Off the assist from Young. Well, you love the show of aggressiveness right there from Mo Bamba. You want to get physical with me? I'm going to score it on the interior. Marley. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Hawks. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Gervin comes in for James. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Yeah, awkward shot there. I mean, creative on the leaner, but the D just made it too difficult for him to convert. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got six. McAdoo, the pass to Marley. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. 
you got to love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Oklahoma City shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. Kemba Walker has checked in for the Thunder. Now, here is Young. He has five. Bamba wide open, and he fires. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Walker the pass to Gerber. On deep, Marley. Okongwu grabs the board. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the guard. Bamba's shot is off. Under trailing by three. And Walker kicks to Holmgren over Young. And there's Holmgren. That's good on the assist by Walker. The very definition of an unselfish star. Kemba Walker doing work with the pass. Trains the three-pointer. And this game already taking shape as an offensive battle. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Hawks ahead. They're up by four. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And for the Hawks, guys, what stands out to you stats-wise? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. I'll tell you, that willingness to make the extra pass, that is what creates good looks. It also forces the defense to scramble. On the floor for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second quarter. We've got Walker. Chad Holmgren out there with McAdoo. Then there's Gerber. And it's Pickett in at the shooting guard position. Walker the pass to Pickett. Now here's Holmgren from the arc. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. Greg, we were just talking about Chet Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not back down. In fact, he's often the one who initiates contact. You think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. Holmgren sets the screen for Walker. It's up a three, and Chet Holmgren hits from deep. Holmgren's got five points so far. No hesitation right there. Holmgren knows he has the shot in his bag, and he takes it. Black dishes to Wiggins. Fires the three. Another three for Atlanta. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Gervin passes to Walker. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Here's Murray. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Walker in the corner. And the Thunder, another three. When you're an open teammate, you've got to be shot ready. And boy, Kemba Walker so efficient in the catch and shoot game. And he's good on the three ball. Wiggins has got the lead back up to nine now for the Hawks. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Here's Black, and again, it's Atlanta. Boy, that's as wide open as you're going to get. The defense needs to lock in and be better than that. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to dehydrate. Bamba, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. They grab their own miss, and the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touch by Bamba. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, 
These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You look at the front, they're stuck in the same spot, but still a top 10 team. And, and you know, right now, Atlanta, they were projected to be one of, if not the best team in our league. And, and thus far, they have not disappointed. And Oklahoma City making a change. James has checked in. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Well, late rotation by the defense, and Wiggins has the vision to find the open man. Gilgis Alexander looking around, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork from Kevin is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Gervin's checked in for McAdoo. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, and the rules might have helped some. I mean, there is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and doing things we've just never seen before. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Here's Murray. Count it. Murray's got the lead up to nine now for the Hawks. Pounding it in the paint there. Murray doing it all. Gilgis Alexander with it. Bamba picks him up. Gilgis Alexander to Gervin. Here's Marley. Rebound by Murray. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. And that one's good by Marley. Marley's got eight. There's a minute 34 left in the first half. Pass to Okongwu. The Hawks working the ball around. Wiggins from outside. From 17 feet out. And the rejection by Holmgren. 11 left to play in the first half. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Not a lot of room. Fades back. That one a little long. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. No one near James as he lets it go. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Yeah, smart play from LeBron. He, you know, recognizing his best option was the pull-up. Pass to Bamba. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's his first trip to the line. And he's kept this percentage at a decent level, right around 74. He misses the free throw. Well, Mo Bamba is the prototypical modern NBA big, right? The size combined with the shooting ability. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. McAdoo is checked in for Chet Holmgren. And it's Kempen for Gervin. And again, it's Oklahoma City. And they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Here's Murray. That ball's nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. Here's James. The dish to Mark. Passes it to Mackin. There's the killer two-handed slam. Ooh, how about the powerful move there on that slam for McAdoo? Not, not many are better than him at getting the job done on the interior. He'll always find a way to finish at the rim when he gets a chance. Atlanta with the ball. For three, Murray. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Yeah, that's exactly how to end the half on a high note. Tacking three points onto this lead at the horn. The mood in each of those locker rooms will be very different. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. With Quinn Snyder, coach, great offense in the first half. What made it possible? I think we're executing pretty well. Um, moving them around a little bit with some fakes. and Guys are just playing aggressive as much as anything. But we get a few more stops. It's been good so far, coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break. 
with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And we welcome you to halftime. First order of business, time to take stock of the all-star voting. Hey guys, does it does it feel like it's warm in the studio to you? I'm always warm, I run hot. It's probably because of your shack -ritis. Says the man who hurts so bad he walks like a duck. I don't talk like a duck. Quack, 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 quack. And now let's focus on our game. A strong first half for the Atlanta Hawks. They've been selfless on offense, setting each other up. The defense couldn't really guess where the ball was going, which is exactly what you want. Yeah, really strong ball movement so far. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You look at Andrew Wiggins in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the five for Quinn Snyder right now. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Johnson is out there with... Oh, a big move by LeBron! And making it look easy. LeBron overwhelms the defense inside. Stolen by Marley. And they're on the break. Tries from 16. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Trey Young. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. That free throw, no good. What's striking about LeBron James is how his game has morphed to now it's all about guile and smarts and experience. He continues to dominate just in a different way. Back to Young. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And he banks in the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 14 points for the game. That is SGA at his best, running the floor, playing with pace. Young from outside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. That will be their second of six road games for the team. Gilgis Alexander with it. Okongwu covering. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Oh. LeBron James leaves no doubt about that one. Punches it home as soon as he gets the opportunity. Bamba sets a screen. Young from outside sinks the triple. He's got eight. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And it's sent back by Okongwu. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Outside Kemp. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Blocked again. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. Off the inbound. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Hawks. Young pass to Johnson. Kicks to Bamba. Young outside. Bamba dishes to Murray. Over Marley. In Atlanta again with the bucket. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. LeBron outside. 
Back to Gilgis Alexander. And it's sent back by Okongwu. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. 80% shooting to start the third, four for five. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. in for Oklahoma City. Now we take a look at the 2K leaderboard to see who the best rebounders in the NBA have been over the last 10 games. Muhammad Bamba fourth. When it comes to rebounding, it, it's been a stupendous stretch for him. He's been using his body and strength so effectively. And McAdoo to Gervin. The pass to McAdoo. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Atlanta with the ball. They've gone on a 10-2 run. Not a lot much. And the dunk by Bamba. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Muhammad Bamba. Let's remember, Sheikh Gilgis Alexander is six foot six, so getting on the interior is not a problem. Good on the second free throw. The Hawks leading by 11. Pass to Okongwu. And pushing it up here. Here is Oklahoma City. Now, Shea Gilgis Alexander has now emerged into a superstar. And on nights like this, guys, he's unstoppable. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Kevin, thanks very much. Well, the NBA is investing in Africa with the Basketball Africa League. Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum said right now in Africa, sports is viewed only as competition, not as a business. What we're trying to demonstrate is that if you invest in sports with the young, fast-growing population in Africa, there is a huge opportunity for high returns. Kevin? That looks DA like a win-win, and we thank you for your report. Young from outside, and the three ball is good. Young's got six points in the quarter. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point round. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And a quick look at how Atlanta's schedule shaping up. On Sunday, they'll host the Miami Heat. Then on Monday, they'll tip off a road trip in Washington where they'll take on the Wizards. You know, most teams might get worried at a long road schedule like this one, but they've been so good away from home. I think they might be looking forward to it. You have to respect what this team can do when they're in your building. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Chad Holmgren comes in for Kemp. And it's Kemba Walker in for Gilgis Alexander. James looking around. Just five on the clock. Buries the long-range jumper. James has got ten points here in the second half. And Young kicks to Murray. And he drives in. And it's Murray with the jam. Once the acceleration for Murray hits you, he's gone. Walker the pass to Gert. LeBron outside. Young against Walker. Holmgren with a screen on Young. Such a wide open look. Walker's got it back down to single digits for Oklahoma City. Bamba a screen on Walker. Young. Open jump shot off the mark. 
Normally, he'll drill that shot, and I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Well, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. We're shooting the ball so well in this one, a great performance from the field. We've got more in store for you right after this. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. The Hawks leading by nine. And Oklahoma City, look at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Chad Holmgren out there with Gervin. Then there's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Then it's Marley. And it's Wheeler in at the pivot, manning the middle. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Holmgren can hit. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Pass to Bamba. Here's Johnson. Money from the wing. And the Hawks lead by 13. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Young from outside makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Gilgis Alexander. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, there's a level of aggressiveness that you must contend with with Gilgis Alexander on the offensive end. You'd love to see him force the issue. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Walker's checked in. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Passes to Bamba. A three ball. The basket good. Off the assist from Young. Young's got four assists in the game. Gervin outside. And there's the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 points in the second half. Oh, my goodness. How good was that move by Shea? Creating a bucket. <laughs> they get it back. The kick out to Young. Shoots over Walker. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a free throw. A different look for Oklahoma City. McAdoo is checked in for Holmgren. Kemp comes in for Gervin. And it's LeBron in for Gilgis Alexander. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during that break, the coach of the Thunder had some harsh words for his team. And it was an intense huddle. Coach challenged his team. He told them the effort's not there. It has to get better. We'll see if those words work, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Johnson outside. And the shot goes in. Just great anticipation by Young. He just sees the play developing, knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. And stolen by Okongwu. For three, Murray. Kemp with the rebound. Thunder trailing by 15. Marley dishes to Walker. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Yeah, once he gets to the rim, it's lights out. Kemp, just too much power and explosive. Young's shot is off. Oklahoma City's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine to the inside and he goes strong with the one-handed jam well he's such a good athlete for a center it's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the nba young and it's sent back by kemp and it goes out of bounds last touch by kemp shay gilgis alexander checked in for walker shay gilgis alexander It's Young on the wing. He'll just Alexander cover it. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Bamba's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Hawks. 
Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Murray finds Okongwu. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got three assists in the game. James in the high post. Johnson's there. Kemp passes to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Kemp. Four on the clock. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Tipped away. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Yo, James, James. A pull-up. Another shot. And it's sent back by Okongwu. And it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're trailing by 15. 124 left in the game. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Hawks. One of the areas that has been critical for them, the second-chance points we've seen from them tonight. A, a huge factor in this one, Kevin. The hustle on the offensive glass, the willingness to go after those rebounds, that was key. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box, there were some great numbers for Muhammad Bamba. Well, I thought his best work was his pursuit of the basketball. He competed for every rebound, fought for position in the paint, and never stopped working. I love it. Murray dishes to Bamba. And again, Atlanta with the triple. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And it has to be said, McAdoo, one of the best shooting bigs ever, shooting better than 50% from the field for entire seasons is routine for him. And both free throws good for McAdoo. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Walker against Young. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Outside, Walker. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Mohamed Bamba.